we interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Come on in, come on in, come on in and let's chop it up, guys. Let's chop it up today. Today, who we have to talk about no other than Miss Carmen Pritchett. Miss Carmen Pritchett is going through some type of thing in her life, some type of issue that she took to her, if I'm not mistaken, it is her Instagram. And then she put in her Instagram, she put, as a woman, I'm disappointed and embarrassed of myself. For the things I allow to happen For allowing myself to be Last always There's a lot of y'all won't understand Y'all just like I don't understand a lot That happens in my life The person that I used to be Was soft Sweet, caring Lover And I always knew how to pick myself back up But I lost her a long time ago And now my focus Is to get her back because I'm in such a dark space emotionally and mentally, but every day I push through. I confess, I have had suicidal thoughts during these past months after my best friend Tay passed away in January. My life took a different turn, but I don't question it much because I know it's God work. He don't mistakes, he doesn't make mistakes, my kids have been my salvation. They don't even know how important they are in my life right now. They don't know that their little their little hugs and kisses snatch me out my dark thoughts. I try to always remain myself and remember that we are humans. But knowing how a person could have done something so effed up and it's like it was never done. And it's normal because people go through it. I agree, but my heart still is broken. My trust is still broken. I still feel lost and I feel stuck. No matter all the names I'm being called, all the bashing I get, no matter what people say about me and how they feel about me, my heart is still pure. I'm genuine. My soul just lost But I'm finding my way to it Because there's so much I want to do In life for me and my kids I work on not being on this app as much Because it's so full of negativity And it's not good for my mental health I thought, I mean I got this And if you have been through something Just know it won't last forever God got, all, got us she proceeds to say, I honestly just want to be left alone. It's time for me to focus on myself. It's too, wait, I'm sorry, I, I skipped the line. To me, to always put myself first, to live life for me. Everything else, I just don't have energy anymore. I'm so drained. I've been drained for so long now. It's easy to just want to focus on other things, or people but in reality it'll bite you in the ass because you're losing yourself and putting yourself last for everyone else hmm, I could write a book about my life I could expose a lot and really open up to a lot but I'd rather to just move on and let God handle everything else he knows me more than anybody on this earth he sees everything in me He's the only one who understands everything we do. I don't play the victim, but I've been the victim of a lot. And all I want is peace and find myself again. With that being said, thanks to everyone. So truly, well, thanks everyone. I think she meant thanks everyone. Oh, thanks everyone so truly. Support me for me. I love y'all always. That was Carmen Pritchett on her Instagram story stating, like, stating to me that she has been through a lot. She's gone through a lot physically, mentally, emotionally. She genuinely feel lost. She, she is in a dark spade in her, in space in her life and mentally that at times she has, you know, suicidal thoughts and the only people to bring her out those dark 
thoughts is literally her babies that they don't understand just their hugs their kisses and kisses and just probably calling her mom is what's bringing her out of it and then she said people tend to say she plays the victim but she has been the victim she wants peace that people put you know play she said right here that um people plays like nothing happened when in reality a lot of things happen you know she just wants to be left alone you know because she is a genuine soul she says she could really expose a lot but she chose not to she chose to leave it in God's hand I'm thinking you know I am thinking could it be Corey and I feel like it's towards Corey I feel like she had hopes that her and Corey was going to be able to fix their relationship. I think she had hope that they would be able to fix their marriage. I think she had hope that he would change the man that he was before. But I feel like, Carmen, it's time for you to sit down. It's time to sit down as a woman. As a mother As your own self enemy You have to sit back And just take time for yourself What's broken Sometimes cannot be repaired What hurts Only make us stronger in life What drain us Only put purpose in our life To know what drained us And what not to allow the person continue to think that can have string on us to think you're a puppet to continue to drain you now I know on my last video I called her a clown because I intentionally felt like she was a clown I intentionally felt like she was allowing this man to continuously play with her like she's a rag doll because Corey has no good intentions about anything or anyone and I don't care who goes down and say oh he has money well he could keep the money but at least she had she would walk out having self pride she would walk out knowing her worth as a woman as a mother and as a human that's into this world just because she's not from you know the US and just because she has you know how to have papers to be in the US does not make that young lady different from any one of us She's just like all of us. She's a child from God. And that does not define her to be any less or any different because she's born in Honduras. Corey seems to just probably put that over her head. To the extent that there is more to the story that this young lady does not want to open up and discuss. It's more to the story that this young lady had endured those time with Corey. People want to portray because Corey, you know, could smooth talk himself away from a lot of shit. But from a real bitch, we know. That he ain't no different from a lot of piece of shit motherfuckers that's out here. That just tries to play the game on the woman that is vulnerable. On the woman that has self, you know, self-esteem issue. On the woman that just craves love and attention. They tend to pick them, pick them, pick them. And, and use them to the extent until they get tired and continue to use them. Carmen, it's time for you, mama, to self-evaluate and know your worth. I don't understand why you continue to want to lay down and sleep with the enemy. Because Corey is not your friend. Corey is not really your husband. He was not really destined to be in your life. Yes, he was destined in your life. To cheat to, for a season and for a reason. And that season is up. And you continue trying to read that chapter over again Read that chapter over again Read that chapter over again It's time for you to close that chapter It's time for you to say This season of this chapter is done It is done This is my reason This is my purpose of why I was in here I learned my reason and my purpose Being with a man that did, never, did not Value me as a woman As the mother of his child that seen me as his worst enemy see, Saw me as his competition It's time for you to get up Get up And go It's time for you Carmen To get up and go You're in a such dark 
dark space in your life because you're busy trying to please everyone but yourself you're busy trying to fit in with everyone instead of fitting in with yourself and with God because at the end of the day baby girl the only person you need is your kids yourself and that good relationship with the Lord that's all you need focus on your mental health your mental health means more and I'm saying you know she gets a lot of backlash and like I said I'm not going to be here Play devil advocate I called her a clown Yes Because I see more in her And I was rooting for her When she finally Finally I thought She knew her worth And she knew She was finally Applying pressure To this man That she would not go back Sometimes Carmen You can't go continue To help everybody You got to help yourself He got to help himself Eventually his day Is going to come When God is going to Reevaluate him God's going to sit him down And he's going to regret everything That he did to everyone Including you Because once a man was, is comfortable Going online Exposing your deepest secret Going online Telling people that you're not a, You're not a US citizen You're an immigrant Going online Trying to downgrade on your mother On your mother's skill as a mother Go online as well to play you in front of the whole world and trying to put everything on you like you was the bad one and never once never once took accountability for his action because how loud the disrespect was online should be allowed the apology online but the apology should not be for you to go back on him the apology should be for him as a man to accept that he did wrong and to give you peace for you to move on because you don't got peace From you dealing with you know The scar battle issue Since you was a child Now the scar battle issue You as an, uh, an adult now You understand You have not healed from your past trauma You has not healed right now From your current, current trauma It's time for you to heal It's time for you yes Take your time off From the internet Log out and reset yourself Find that inner little girl within you Find peace with that little girl within you Find secure from that little girl within you Find that concrete of a rose that could grow within you And know that you are worth something In this lifetime Know that no man does not define the woman that you are You define the woman that you are today Sometimes yes Losing someone you love And you just adore That Tay your friend gave you You understand And you just losing that one person That finally understand That just finally understand You as a person And you know Things happen in life for a reason And her life was cut off short But she was in your life for a reason She prepared you so you should have took the things that she had gave to you And taught you During the process of y'all being as a friend For the many years y'all with Or months y'all was with And applied it to your life Because everybody comes in our life for a season And for a reason And you have to gather that little mustard seed, mustard seed That you could grow within you And grow it to know That right now you're full of a dark space But God is going to put the light upon this young girl And it's so sad because she is lost And I've been saying it from my previous last video She is lost She is hurt She is broken She is shattered She's trying to find love in every places Because she's trying to find love From the abandonment And from the hurt from the pain that her father endured to her when she was a child And from her mother just leaving her Until she gathered herself in the United States And then came back to get her You understand? She is battling all that So she is right now dealing with daddy issues Since she was a young girl She's trying to feel that, that love and avoidment that void from not having a father So she think that the man that she get That could give her that love that she didn't have from her father But baby girl sometime in life 
things happen for a reason and you have to understand that just because your daddy hurts you hurted you and he abandoned you doesn't mean you gotta go look for it in every man that you come across no because that's how you're gonna hurt yourself that's how you're gonna continue to repeatedly go on the same cycle that you're just coming from you gotta let love find you you gotta let that love find you because if it's if that man is meant to be in your life in the long run you will know it and this relationship that you're currently coming out from or the you know relationship that you thought you could refix and it, it can't be refixed because once a cheater always a cheater once a dog is always gonna be a dog and then top it all off you slept with your worst enemy you thought the man that you love was literally plotting on you and was really exposing you so that's your enemy baby girl but the next man that comes in your life this last relationship that you just left is going to teach you it's going to teach you not to what to accept and not to accept from a man but right now focus on your mental health Carmen and focus on to grow as a young lady a young woman that could help young women and women that are currently walking in your path of life and I could tell you one thing right now you it may everything may seem confusing for her everything may seem like it's not gonna have no ending of the pain and the sorrow and the misunderstanding not understanding stuff and you just want to scream shout and yell you feel like no one's there for you but eventually eventually and soon all this shall pass watch who you call friends not everybody is your friend not everybody is your partner not everybody's gonna have you the way you have them you gotta be careful who you get that title to as friend and you gotta be careful who you try to lay up with and call your man because Corey is not it and I understand you're gonna have 18 plus years with this man because he's the father of your child but that does not mean that you have to be everywhere he goes with the kids that does not mean you gotta be in the same room because you're healing you are healing and when you heal you don't have to be in every room he could take care of his kids and then bring it back to you doesn't mean y'all have to be lovers was if it's broken it's broken can't be fixed because right now my glass could break i'm gonna try to go get the glue in and stay all day try to glue it to fix it stay all day trying to glue it to fix it. the next day i wake up trying to fix it and i can't because it's broken sometimes what's broken cannot be fixed and she anybody has to understand that a relationship sometimes if it's broken it's meant to be broken sometimes it can't be fixed i wish you well i wish you well from far away and i wish whoever come in your life i wish you peace but the peace is not going to be with me because you broke me you hurt me so it's time for me to let you go for i could grow to be the woman i am today and that's what you got to say karma to yourself a lot of women we all been broken we all been hurt we all went through sorrows but that make us the strong person that we are today so we can help the next person that comes into our life that has to go through the battle that we already went through find your purpose in life carmen and continue to move forward with your babies and your kids so when you have to look back you have stories to tell your kids and your grandkids how mommy and grandmommy made it through it's always hope at the end of the tunnel trying to ill yourself it's not gonna fix things because those babies need you you don't want to abandon your babies the way your family or the man that you was with abandoned you don't ever think of that it's always help out there. there's a lot of resources out there to help people that's dealing with a dark space of mental health health so at the end i would never belittle nobody at their lowest i will always try to help anybody from their lowest to get them to their highest and to let them know 
You got people out there praying for you. You got people out there that don't want to see you down. They want to see you keep pushing. But it's time for her to let go of what's breaking her or what had broke her. She needs to stop repeating, repeatedly going back to a man that is just her enemy. It's sad to say, but she's not the only woman out here or the only individual out here going through this. It's a lot of people that go through it that just don't speak up. Clearly, she has a platform to say it. She got a lot of followings. So I just say, including myself, instead of, you know, bringing people down, we got to lift them up in times like this. Because she seems like a, a good woman, but she's very gullible when it comes to people with a caring heart. But, you know, a lot of people like that. Oh, I do just wish her well, and I hope she just stay away from people, places, and things, and the person that she lay with that does not mean no good in her life. But that's all I have to say today. Ladies and gentlemen, know your worth in life. Know that what's broken the lesson today sometimes what is broken leave it broken because it can't be fixed what's broken it can't be fixed that's it it just can't be fixed no matter how you want much you want to put it together it's always going to continue to fall down because the glue don't last forever and the glue is going to break it right back apart so eventually what's broken leave it broken leave it in god's hand i wish you well i wish you well from afar but i don't wish you well with me because i love my peace and sanity and i know at the end god got me and that's all you have to say and if a person do wrong to you just know <sighs> karma is real what you reap is what you sow. What you put out there, you get a ten, ten, ten time back full. That's it. That's all. But other than that, I wish everybody well. Just know you are you. You are unique in your own way. Never allow no one to dim your shine. I'll see you guys in the next commentary video or just videos overall. Have a blessed one.